Sometimes I wonder where music can take me in the world. Because for me, music is a voyage. I had the pleasure of visiting the beautiful city of Volgograd, the former Stalingrad. I was mesmerized by the Mamayev Kurgan, the motherland monument, and also for its people. I met the Sunlight Quartet that plays a variety of different rhythms with their classical instruments. And also met Eugene, a maestro who told me a lot about the Cossacks music and the history of the city. so much for coming with me here to a walk around Volgograd. So where are we exactly? We are in the center of our city. It's one of the memorable places. It's the square of Lenin and near the house of Pavlov. It's one of the our most uh, famous heroes of Stalingrad battle. In Volgograd there are many uh, such memorable places, but this is one of the most most uh, memorable of them. Yeah, and you're telling me about Volgograd, it had like three different names. Yes, firstly it was called Tsaritsyn, just like uh, Tsar. Tsar is uh, the man who reigns the near country, like queen, king, so in Russia uh, traditionally it was called Tsar. Uh, but then after the uh, Bolsheviks it was renamed uh, the Stalingrad. So Stalin is a person who leads uh, Russia uh, and uh, who uh, have uh, won the uh, Second World War. Uh, but uh, after uh, he has died, uh, many people, in fact, they don't uh, love uh, him and uh, they want to change the name of the city. In the middle of the 20th century, we have a name Volga. It's because of uh, our river. The river Volga is the longest river in Europe, but there were no many cities that called Volga. Uh, now our city is called Volgograd and I think uh, in future uh, most of people will know our city not only because the Second World War is a Stalingrad. Stalingrad battle is very important of course, but uh, we, all, all the uh, citizens of our city, they uh, want uh, that, uh, that the whole world will know our city as a Volgograd, as a new history and we think our city is very beautiful. And it is, I agree. Uh, but you were telling me you're not originally from Volgograd. I was born uh, near the North Pole, in uh, Siberia. But uh, I was just uh, one year and a half when we moved uh, back to Volgograd. I really <laughs> do not remember uh, this, uh, this Siberian life, part of my life. And I think the weather is quite different at least. I don't know if you uh, yes, can remember yes, Siberia, yes. but we are here in yes, the hot yes, sun. Yes. <laughs> I think it's about uh, 80 degrees. Uh, is the difference is between <laughs> 80, 80 or 85. <laughs> yes, because in Volgograd plus 40, plus 45, 
uh, in summer it's it's normal uh, and uh, there minus 45 it's also normal <laughs> Thank you for receiving me here. So, where are we? We are Vogajarski Institute of Culture and Culture. How is the music scene here? What do you see about music in this city? There is a symphonic orchestra, a musical theater, opera, theater, and there are also musicians here where they work. And you play songs from different parts of the world. Actually, it's not Russian music, you play different kinds of music. Ну, это интересно и разнообразную музыку изучать, играть ее, вникать в нее. То есть разные музыкальные традиции тоже в них разбираться. Это очень интересно. And so, do you guys have any connection with the Russian traditional music as well? Ну, если традиционная музыка народная, но все-таки классические музыканты нам ближе классическая именно русская музыка. То есть Глинка, Чайковский в эту сторону нам как-то. Не только классическая музыка, но и классический рок, и классическая традиционная музыка, где на первом месте выступает именно стихи и душевный порыв. Вот, в этом ключе все это как русский рок, можно сказать. And, uh, what you guys study here in the institute? У нас есть гармония, полифония, теория музыки, история музыки. Сальфеджо. У нас очень много предметов. Дирижирование даже есть. Инструментовка. And is it all connected to classical music? Да, конечно. Для того, чтобы работать в оркестре, нужно понимать, что он хочет от своих музыкантов. So it, it is quite different than the repertoire you play in the Sunlight Quartet, right? Да. Не совсем. Да. Учимся классической музыке. Ну, это, несомненно, помогает. В том репертуаре, который мы здесь. Это то, что мы здесь изучаем, это база, без которой нельзя вообще любую музыку играть исполнять, играть на наш инструмент. Мышление тоже нам помогает здесь. Мы учимся мыслить правильно музыкально. Yes, I work in Volgograd and I'm director of our uh, state uh, and school of Don Cossack. The play, I have uh, my, own, my own orchestra. We have 10 people. They play different instruments. We have uh, uh, as well as Bayan, but we have Balalaika, Dobra. It's uh, especially a Russian instrument. Uh, then we have trumpet, trombone as well as food uh, and uh, this, this uh, ensemble, it, it's our mm, music part, but also we have a uh, bar and also we have dances. also very interesting uh, so we, we've traveled with uh, this uh, ensemble with this group uh, in different countries we visited the uh, united states the united kingdom italy france uh, germany uh, as well as uh, japan and also uh, a few years ago i visited uh, india it was uh, uh, in, uh, the, the other world wow. but, but in every part uh, of our uh, world, uh, people really like this music wow. because uh, it's a true music uh, of Russian heart. not just Russian tradition, but it's a traditional uh, song of uh, the Cossacks. Cossacks is the very uh, interesting uh, part of Russian history. Ta-da!
Ba-da-da-ba-ba